It's a mesmer. Oh no. Oh god. Last time on Subnautica Below Zero, we made a second base, but I struggled all stream with logistics. I was driving my sea truck back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, and I did it the slowest way. So hopefully today we'll see a little more than just driving supplies around. We have two architect artifacts that I couldn't get to. And we have uh, a couple of recipes pending. The depth module as well as... Let's see, what was the other one? Laser cutter would be nice to get. Sleeper module would be nice to finish. Pro tip, press buttons to do things. The only tip that I allow. <laughs> Dumble, did you just change your username? That's rad. I really want to cut my hair, but I don't know what to do with it. I've done just a straight cut for the last too many years, and I'm bored of it. It's tough. It depends on your hair type, too. Because I'll see something on a video or a magazine or an ad or whatever, and I know that it doesn't work with my hair type. Bioreactor? No, because we don't have a multi-purpose room yet. Mm -hmm. That would be nice to find. Okay. I don't know. Let's try these again. Which one's farther away? Let, have we gone to this one? We failed to get this one at 450 meters, so let's try the other one. I did. I changed it sometime back, but couldn't get a variant of Double Ds that I wanted, so I added the TM. Oh, okay. Usernames are tricky. You wouldn't believe the amount of times I've been asked what the TM was for. <laughs> Problem solved. Yeah. I'm, I'm lucky in that my username's pretty straightforward, but the underscore is not always doable. My YouTube URL, the custom one, it doesn't allow underscores, and uh, I think we're going right into probably Leviathan territory. Let's go. What else doesn't allow underscores? Oh, look at all this. How far is it now? 908. This is too narrow, right? Let's just uh, press onward. I'm sure this will be fine. Long and thick hair. Yeah, that'll change your options. Hi, Birdo. Welcome in. Have you tried Raft? Definitely scratching that I need another base builder exploration itch. We were talking about playing Raft as a group. Um... Ooh, that was startling. Me and bears and Mel and Cos, maybe? I want to see you coming at me. Oh, I didn't repair this before heading out. That would have been nice. Dang. Significant geothermal activity detected below. Beware of high pressure and temperatures. Oh, wow. This is really cool. Okay, we've already had some very exciting encounters for the day. Warning. Maximum no. depth reached. I get too imminent. excited. Ooh, what's that? Oh, ooh, what's that? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, those are sharks. <sighs> oh, wow, this is cool. Wait, I want to go up and surface and then make friends. Look at, look at, look at. You're my new favorite.
glow whale? Wait, it's not letting me... My controller is not letting me use right trigger. That could be a problem. Hello? Where did my little... Okay. Hi, G. Miles. Welcome in. Mom the human, welcome in. I'm gonna pause really quick. Uh, there's something going on with the controller. I don't know why right trigger's not working. We're having some... controller weirdness. Uh, I'll go ahead and save though. Since I made it out here safely. And I do want my repair tool. What? Uh, what? Very strange. I think I got it though. Okay, um, now we can go make a friend? Come here. You're glitching into the glacier. It's still not working. That is so weird. Glow whale. Alright. Very pretty. We're just gonna have to try to make it work. I don't know why it's reversed. Uh, this is the artifact still over here. What is that? Is that somebody's egg? I don't know. The music is cool. Look at it eating stuff. Nature. Oh, hi. I don't think- I think they just want to eat those other smaller fish, right? That's usually the case, right? I can't see anything. Here we go. What's that? Some kind of wreck. Uh, do I risk it? Sure. Sleeper module, we needed that. Hi, Semi, welcome in. Um, RT and LT are reverse, and I don't know why. But otherwise, we're doing just fine. Oh no, now which one were we going for? Oh, Leviathan. Scary. I think I did a big circle, but we got the scan on the whale, so I'm happy. Yeah, I was messing with the control settings double and um, it still reversed, but it's okay. I think it reversed itself and then righted itself again. It's so dark. This is the one we couldn't find last time, right? That it just looks like it's in the side of this rock. Maybe not. But Crushed Up is gonna get me soon. Hey Nacho, welcome in. How's it going? I'm gonna try this one more time. Weird. 
We don't have very much battery on this left. Do you think there's going to be oxygen plants down here? I'm hearing some noises. Just woke up. It's 4 p.m. Nice. An active volcano detected nearby. What? I'm about to get chomped. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Oh, <gasps> cool. There's no oxygen plants, though, or anything. Another site found. Perhaps its data will tell me something useful. I have collected enough data to extrapolate the location of a component necessary to assemble my body. Do I need to scan this? I will a signal. Signal location uploaded oh, now the buttons are back. But I'm not going to survive this. New technology acquired. Oh, where's that little oxygen thing? Uh, I put it in storage. Okay, well, we're done, though. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Maybe I will bring one of those oxygen pouches next time then. Because I don't think I have a way to get in and out of there without it. Where's- where- how far away is my... here. Oxygen. Which- which is gonna happen? Die by this or by oxygen or both? <laughs> Um, you died. That's okay. We're gonna go back. The... <sighs> we just don't, we don't have the stuff that we need yet. We need a diamond for depth module and we need what else to go deeper like that I don't know can we see wait what is happening you can stand up in the sea truck like that that was weird. Okay, let's surface. Very cold. <sighs> Select next. I know, I know, the cold, diamond. But there wasn't anything down here except for the open ocean leading to that volcano hole. 
I do know how to pin receipts, yes, uh, recipes, sorry, not receipts, but I'm not looking for game tips or help or anything like that. If I need help, I will say safe word. Mulan and nearby iceberg detected, a hollow chamber typically formed by glacial melt. That's cool. Can we keep going up, up, up? Is this the highest I can go? Thank you for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. Rock grub. Oh, the safe word is safe word. <laughs> If I go right over this thing... It's gonna be directly in... Leviathan territory, right? That's what it seems like. Green waters. Uh, I'm gonna save here anyway. Oh, I did scan the whale. I fixed it. That was earlier. I, I saved after I scanned the whale, too. Hi, guy. Welcome in. How's it going? I'm also and human. I watch Twitch and play human video games. <laughs> This mission is just destined for failure, honestly. There's a ruby. Are there diamonds? I feel like I should be focusing on that more than the thing below. What is this? <gasps> oh my god. Okay, but I have to survive this leviathan attack. I'm gonna stay here in this crack. Maybe it'll leave me alone. I think it only takes one diamond. We'll find out. Gotta head out for now. Hopefully I'll be back later. Okay, sounds good, Trap. Take care. Just a reminder, no, no hints or help. This is a no backseating, no spoilers type of a stream. Thank you, Maggie. I appreciate it. Thank you, mods. Okay, let's go home and make this module if we can. I'm not sure I'll be able to craft it though, because we don't have moon pool, we don't have whatever that table thing is from the previous game that you make upgrades for. Hi Acrylic, welcome in. What is that emote? That's so cute. Did I scan these things? What are these? I don't know, guy, what you're... Like, I think you're making the mods uncomfortable. So maybe just cool it and stick to gameplay questions. Whale doing a splash. Yeah, we scanned the... Oh, the emote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The emote is very cute. There's a lot going on at once here. <laughs> I 
I wonder what depth... Actually, are we safe to do a quick... <sighs> a quick one of these? I just want to look at this recipe. Vehicle upgrades. We don't have a vehicle upgrade module or whatever those are called. Why did I think... Oh, I need diamond for the enameled glass, so we do need more than one diamond. <sighs> we need two. Does it say what depth that brings us to? No. Increases depth. Hang on, I'm gonna pause really quick. Um, I'm just gonna. I feel like this, uh, this game, I keep being led astray. I keep having dead ends. Is this a diamond? This looks like quartz. Quartz and salt. Not that those aren't good. Scannable. Um, mobile vehicle bay. We have that already. Ten out of ten would pet the creature that wanted to attack the sea truck. The platypus, the crypto beast, or something else. Oh, sea monkey. I'm lost. I don't know what to do. I want to find diamonds. Are you a diamond? What is that? Oh, it's an egg. Although we don't have any way to hatch these yet. Which artifact is which? This is the one we've already seen. This is the one I couldn't figure out how to get to. This is the newer one. What is happening? Weird. Do we have to swim under this again? Maybe? Whoa, you're glitching out. Okay. Hi, <laughs> Senkari, welcome in. How are you? <gasps> what do you mean this game is cozy and peaceful and safe? 
I don't know what you're talking about. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Constantly at my crush depth. We scanned these whales. They're super cool. Now I'm looking for diamonds. It was a nice game, enjoyed it, but also scared me, yeah. A little bit of both. Just a nice swim with friendly fishes. We could do friendly mode. We could do uh, casual builder mode, creative mode. Hi, passerby, welcome in. How's it going? I didn't like the first one because it felt very open. Too much ocean can be a bad thing. Okay, this appears to be fruitless. We gotta turn around. I'm gonna run out of battery. Oh, do I have an extra battery? Or did I use it in the other the other time we saved. I know I had at least one. I hope I had two. Okay, this was a bad plan. We're just gonna pretend this game is Abzu and I'm doing beautiful meditative diving exploration because I seem to be missing all the key missions here. No. That thing wants to kill me. I hear the distress signal noise again. Alien Morse code. Kindly leave me alone. No, I don't have another battery. Dang it. I don't know if we can make it back without that thing. Should have got this the first time. I don't think we can make it back. Can I take a battery out of something else? Yeah. We've had to do that before. something, I guess. <sighs> Fun fact, we know more about the moon's surface than our own planet's oceanic depths, yeah. It is easier to get to the moon, technically. It's wild. Uh, I'm gonna grab these. 
Do you like the sea truck or cyclops or sea moth more? Um, so far, sea moth is still holding up as my fave. There's just something about it that feels the best to drive. And I don't, I haven't gotten to do much with the sea truck yet as far as towing other modules. So I think once we figure that out, it'll be fun. And we can have a little sleeper car. I don't have a good sense- I, I, it's so hard to remember what it was like the first day of the other game because I don't have a good sense of where anything is and I didn't have a good sense then either. I expect I should know the whole map by now. How dare I take more than two streams to memorize the map. Home sweet home. We can make the depth module here. Plasteel ingot enameled glass. Lead glass diamond. Oh, we only have one lead? That's okay. Quartz is easy, excuse me, easy enough to come by ingot i thought i made one and it's out here in one of these nope that's not what i wanted to do um okay that's not ingot i thought i had one. Oh well we'll just make another one maybe it's at the other base one, two, three, four, five. And then we can make our plasteel. So close. Unpin that. We need two quartz and a lead. And batteries, so many batteries. Oh, that's not minerals. Oh, hello. Quartz, anybody? Quartz? I miss the oxygen plants. They could come with me everywhere. I 
and ribbon plants. We should plant... If we could grow ribbon plants near my base, that would also make my day. Sea truck fragment. None of these are chance of lead. What about you? Chance of copper. Chance of lead? Oh. It was, but we didn't get it. Got it. There's one quartz. There's two quartz. We did it. Oh, there's a shark. We're so close to having everything we need. I don't know why I didn't bring the sea truck with me. I guess because I knew I was going to have to get out and collect things so much. Make glass. Make enamel glass. Make upgrade. Yay! Progress! Propulsion cannon. Okay, I'll worry about that later. Must go deeper. Three hundred meters. Woohoo! Oh, look at the orange sky. Here's another egg. And uh, we could go visit our battery charger real quick, or we could make batteries. I don't know which is quicker. Because I don't have any ribbon plants. No, I'm going to bring this with me again. One, two, three, four, five... Oh, and we only have the one copper. Hmm. And a no power cells. Uh. Can you remind me of significant things you've done so far? We have Alan. And we've been to Station Delta. We made a sea truck. And that's pretty much it, because I haven't been- Oh, we found one other Alan artifact, but it, I don't think it was one of the ones that he gave us a signal for. We just stumbled upon it.
we found the juvenile jellyfish vent and we found that one leviathan sel selicate or something and we found the whales We did a lot the first day, it felt like, and then the second day felt like a lot of trial and error. Mostly error. Welcome aboard, Captain. Charge batteries, please. Will you charge this power cell? Can I make a power cell charger? Do I have that? No, just a battery charger. There, there's where all our quartz is. There's where our plasteel is. We already made one. Oh well, we have it for later. Nice outpost, thanks. <laughs> I, p I was spending- this is like all I did last stream was make this base thinking I needed to be closer to some of the other resources and then, I don't know, it'll be handy. I'm bummed that we can't recharge that power cell so I guess I'm just gonna put it in storage. Oh, and I do have more copper, but not ribbon plants. Then we will need to go get those. But I'm gonna make another power cell because our sea truck power is really low. And if I have to wait for these, just sit and wait for these to recharge, and then I can, but... I might as well go looking for ribbon plants while we wait for yes, them to charge. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. Welcome in. Oh, it's so shallow here. Ribbon plants, where you at? Are you in these caves? No. I tried to make the base inside that little tiny cave, but I don't have a way to power it. The only power source I have is solar panels, and there's certainly no sun down there. Oh, I really want to get that gold if we can, since gold is such a rarity. Oh well, I also don't want to get chomped. No, gold is less of a big deal now that we have this outpost over here. Because there's one right there. Nope, that's titanium. Ribbon plant. I need you. Where are you? Uh, do you get to save the whales in this game? <laughs> we get to scan the whales. I hope we save them. T, how's it going? Alright, let's just go towards our other base, because that's more likely where I'm going to find ribbon plants. And seaweed. Adjust my t-shirt to say scan. Okay. That'll That's a guaranteed accuracy, but the save, we'll work on it. 
You can have a backup t-shirt, just like the Super Bowl. Oh, here's a ribbon plant. I think we've scanned that base before, but we can look again just in case. The more the merrier. What are you? Sea Glide. Six ribbon plants? It's my lucky day. <gasps> so many, a wealth of ribbons. But no multi-purpose room. Why? Okay. Swimming in ribbon plants. <laughs> Jokes are allowed. I I I made the worst stretch of a stream title, so I think I can handle you all making swimming jokes. I was just going to make it, you know, staying cool, keeping cool on 4546B, but then it dawned on me. We're 4546B ting the heat. Maybe? Maybe not? Help me think of a better one for next week. <laughs> and for for being on but for being below zero, we are spending an awful lot of time in the geothermal vents areas. It takes two ribbon plants and one copper. I keep thinking it takes two copper and one ribbon plant. I'm doing lovely today. I'm eating some yogurt and strawberries, hanging out with my napping kitty, watching a fantastic stream and play some Nautica. Today's a wonderful day indeed. Yeah, that sounds pretty nice. Sounds not far off from uh, my days. I should have made a, a strawberry smoothie today, but I didn't have time. Maybe after stream. And my cat, Duncan, is passed out in the other room. He He's gotten really good at our routine. He, like, pretty much just naps during stream time. He knows that I'm in here playing a game. Unless it's time to summon him or something. You have four batteries now. One extra power cell. I'm gonna make a second extra power cell since we've got two batteries in the charger. That seems reasonable. Treat yourself with a strawberry smoothie. I had one. We were playing Celeste on Friday, so I had one on Friday. Because, you know, Celeste, strawberries. Um, that's it. It just seemed like a good fit. <laughs> I'm feeling much better about this power situation and depth module situation. Now I really want strawberries in this heat. Mm-hmm. Beat the heat. I don't need any of this. Cool. Yeah, looks good. Save again. You are at... 75% and my repair tool is out of batteries. Maybe we'll sit here and like wait for those other batteries to finish. Yeah, they're almost done.
Oh, there wasn't an empty one in that repair tool. It it was it was just empty because I took the battery out of it to put into the Sea Glide. Yes, now I remember. Eighty six. Eighty seven. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Quick water break. This creature egg technically belongs in the other locker, but I think that other locker is full. Water is very important, truly. I had too much iced coffee earlier. I was jittery, so I need to drink some more water. 94. <laughs> Is there anything else I can make while we're sitting here? What else can I use these ion cubes for? We don't really have anything else yet except for the quantum locker. Two rubies, enameled glass. So that's one more diamond and synthetic fibers i forget what that's made of ruby and spiral plant clipping okay that does, have we seen spiral plant also, here's the glow whale. Glow whales are communal leviathans approximately 30 meters long, often found swimming in open ocean and occasionally breaching the surface. Photophores. Glow whales contain several types of bioluminescence. Perhaps the most noteworthy are their photophores, which are incandescent glandular organs found at the corners of their eyes and the pods at the tip of their sail-like pectoral fins. Glow horns. The glow whale's blue horns behave similarly to tuning forks. The horns receive waves of sound in the water and help glow whales identify members of their pod from a distance. This ability is also used in hunting shoals to determine positioning of potential food sources. When pods of whales are at play, they emit a harmonious series of notes that resonate in their horns and release a series of chemicals that appears to create a joyful response in nearby whales. This note's frequency is too high to be heard by human ears. Assessment, passive, harbors barnacles and algae. That's so cute! They like to play. Glow whales sound amazing. Maggie, thank you for redeeming. Bean garden. Community hydrate. Everybody drink water. Water the beans. Hmm. The human beans. And flex those channel points. Maggie, notoriously hoarding channel points. <laughs> They're the best. Nice eyes. Mm hmm. Rock grub, a small luminescent scavenger, roughly thumb size. This creature may be a distant relative of the sand shark, sharing that species' unusual limbs, segmented exoskeleton, and burrowing behavior. Its circular set of teeth is designed to tear up clumps of coral and seagrass caught on the rocks. Five legs, two arms, and a large flipper allow the rock grub to cling to and walk across rock faces in search of food and swiftly swim to safety when under attack. Green luminescence. G glowing green in the dark would seem like a poor survival strategy, but this adaptation may be a mating behavior or other specialized process, engaged in by only a fraction of the total population at any one time. Or perhaps being eaten is simply part of the rock grub's life cycle. Harmless. Cute. Our batteries are done. Good passing of the time. That one's at 66% power. This one's at 1% power. 
I mean, I might as well use it to the end. Does this game make you want to start your own fish aquarium in your home? No. <laughs> this game allows me to experience it without all the work. We had an aquarium when I was growing up, and my dad was the one who was um, quite the hobbyist with it, but it is a lot of work and maintenance. And when we moved houses, it was so hard to transfer everything with us. Okay, yeah, this is the one we want. 961 meters. It would be cool to have an aquarium, but I don't think I could keep up with it. I'll stick to watching the YouTube 4K videos of aquariums. I don't know what you're talking about. Me hoarding beans? Never. Okay, you're right. What was I thinking? Now, now we're going somewhere. Straight into the den of the Leviathan. Oh, and there's a crash fish following us. At some point, yeah, is this the drop off point here? We. Past 150, let's go! Oh, check out this wreck. We still don't have the laser cutter though. Okay, wait, I think we have to go back up and over this rock. Now we're in the green part again. Leviathan. Oh, sorry! Oh my god, I was looking at chat, I ran right into that critter. Look, Leviathan territory is always, um, is always a good time. I hit it again. I thought it went under me. Rip. Okay, 260. So we can't bring this all the way down, but we can bring it, like, right above so that we have a safe escape. And of course, you know, I want to scan these. Because I've never seen a ruby in this game ever before. <laughs> Another site found. Another Perhaps site found. Will tell me something useful. Give me your data. I have collected enough data to extrapolate the location of a component necessary to assemble my body. I, I ran over the fish. Signal. I know, I'm sorry. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Architect artifact. Do we have time to get New this? Technology acquired. I think so. New technology acquired. I'm gonna try not to hold my breath. We gotta make it back up here safe. Oh, there's the Leviathan. It's fine, you don't wanna hurt me. Uh, answer. How do humans function with such a fallible and inferior body? <laughs> Excuse you. My body I wouldn't is anything welcome but in. Inferior. I work hard for my body. We're getting to be chased. Able to do what it does. No. Yes, but its overall form is not ideal. For example, consider its use of primitive ball and socket joints. Is there anything you don't find primitive? Humans <laughs> bartered with evolution to get more brain wrinkles and opposable thumbs. It is true the opposable thumb is Forgot absent, about Alan. But all corporeal He's here too. are temporary. The ability to be reborn when a body breaks down is paramount. My body is my own, and I cherish it. It grows with me. Humans have one life. We plant trees we can never experience the shade of. 
we build for the next generation. Humanity. It's pretty cool. You are incredibly frustrating, you know that? I hope to see the forms of my people again. Alan seems like he would be a hoot at parties. Yeah. <laughs> Wooden, I'm glad you could make it in. How's it going? Um, how's your jet lag? Below zero is really good. I was feeling distraught earlier, but then we got the depth module. And then we made some more batteries. I'm feeling a little better now. We scanned a whale. How many med packs do I have? Three? I, I don't know if I can... Not at my current health, I can't scan that leviathan, because if I get bit once, I will die. If I'm at full health, I think I can get bit once and live in, in time to do another med pack. So that's something we could do for fun. Um, we got some new technology. Architect tissues? That wasn't it. I thought that was it for sure. Re Recyclotron. Recycle items into their constituent parts. Neat. Jet lag is better. I'm in Chicago for a business trip. Nice. Enjoy. I'm glad jet lag is better. It can be a real pain. So is Recyclotron the only thing we got from that encounter? Science, Science rules. rules. Thank you, Veggie. <laughs> oh, and we have another... No, we still just have this marker to go to. Body cache. Okay, no, we do have another one we can go to. Scanning and diving. We got... Ruby and ground sampler. This alien artifact appears to be a programmable robot that can collects and analyzes samples of soil and rock. Scans indicate the presence of equipment closely analogous to human-built lasers and spectrograph analysis equipment. And two pictures of the Aurora. <laughs> Picture of some whales. Let's try to go to... This marker, now that we have the depth module. How far away is the body cache? 844. Oh, it's closer. Just kidding, let's do this. Straight down. Is this directly below us at... 700, 800 meters then? We're not going to be able to get that far down. I'll go to 300 and see what I can see. This is just, um, ocean floor. <laughs> oh, you're- I, we saw this type of shark earlier, but I didn't scan it. Oh no, that's the same Leviathan? When you're when you're far away from the Leviathans, I, I end up- There's a large anomalous mass of rock that has broken away and risen above the surrounding terrain. I end up thinking they're smaller than they are. It's just that I'm further away. This area is cool. Oh, oh, excuse me, pardon me. Okay, yeah, let's hang out down here. I'm gonna save again. Hi, Riggerton, welcome in. Ooh, pretty. Green turnian? Lily pad root? Some seagrass? Whoa! I should leave a beacon over here. 
Hi, thanks for the quartz. Thanks, you heckin' cutie. Whoa, wait. Blooming raindrops. Okay, let's scan that, and then let's go over to that base? What's all this? Yo. Multi-purpose room? Moon pool? Hatch. There's no hatch. There's a bed. Multi-purpose room! Hi, Llama. Welcome in. How are you? This is a long scan. Nice. Look at all the stuff in there. Oh, look at all this! <gasps> Swim charge fins. Hydrochloric acid. Oh, we already have that, apparently. Antenna plant. Doing good, making some late dinner. Nice. Enjoy. Omega lab. Do I have a beacon? No. Rip. Let's recharge our oxygen before I go inside there. Omega lab music. We are, I'm gonna take notes. 1361 meters southeast of our drop pod. And we're at 199 meters depth. Omega lab, since I don't have a beacon. Good evening, Gen humans and cats. The scary game again. Don't know why, but any game underwater looks scary to me. Hi, Bitfreeze. Welcome in. It can be scary. And fear of the ocean is totally normal and should be respected. <laughs> wow, look at all the stuff in here. Wall planters. Ooh, lava lamp. Aromatherapy lamp. Water filtration system. We're getting all the good tech. Uh, counter. There was like a sample bottle thing? No. Where's my flashlight? There we go. Lots of stuff floating midair. Bonk. Okay, let's go refill oxygen. You can hear the whales from down here. There's a snack room. It keeps saying I can scan something. Oh, this? Plant pot. Single bed. Postcard. 
Wall shelf. Wall shelves. A big locker that I can't open. Composite plant pot. Poster. More oxygen, please. Refill. There's so much good stuff in here. I I don't know why we save excessively, but we do. Trash can, coffee machine, a sign, nameplate, Dr. Danielle Valenti, Danielle's bed, little like floating planter, pick up picture, oh, that's our sister. They liked each other. She told us in that one audio log that she liked someone. It was Danielle. It looks like, I don't know, I think we're gonna get to read about it or listen to a voice log, hopefully. Oh, I want this mug. <laughs> okay, let's stop for more oxygen. Cause we're safe here. It's not really worth the risk of running out of air. Can I paint the sides of my habitat like this? I want a giant omega symbol on my habitat. Also, did I, can I, I want to make a sign like that too. Whoa. What happened here? No mug, dang it. I'm convinced Jen doesn't share her fear. Yeah, hesitation in some areas, but mostly not fear in this game. Nuclear reactor, okay, um, I think something happened with their reactor. <gasps> Power cell charger, yes! I have so much reading to do. Yo, can I pick these up? No? Okay, rude. Would have liked to take those batteries and power cells. That laboratory appeared to have been sabotaged intentionally. Oh, you I haven't read the stuff yet. For. Look like maybe bacteriology. That's what the equipment was for anyway. Before a fire tornado ran through it or something. Do you think your sister had something to do with the destruction? I don't know why she would, but the more I see on this planet, the less I know what to think. Who would want to destroy it? Who indeed? Hello? Can you go through? Thanks. <laughs> Doing one more sweep to see if we got everything. I think we did. Oh. Oh, glass dome. Okay, nice. Slim Rindy, welcome in. Thanks for the hydrate. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Oh, give me one second once I get back to the sea truck. I can do that. There was another scanner bubble. Is it the window? Oh, speakers! Jukebox speaker, where's the jukebox? I want some tunes. Let's jam. Okay, this room is really cool. I want this plant tower in my base. Oh, hey, can I scan you? No? 
Okay, now that we're safe, thank you for the hydrate. I'm gonna find that jukebox if there's one in there. In the rec room? Oh, these are bedrooms. Wait, so was this, um... Sam's room? I know, hopefully we'll find out when I do some reading. It's like blankets floating around. Fearless Jen. In this game, I try to be. Not always, though. I try to be fearless, but not reckless. There are some times when I have to turn back because I don't want to lose our vehicle or our resources. I did already come back here, though. Oh, that looks so bad. That, I bet that was another place I could have scanned the battery charger if we didn't have it already. Okay, who wants to do some reading? First, let's look at this technology. Hydrochloric acid, polyaniline, reactor rod. Swim charge fins. Control room. Operational hub for observing and managing habitat power, structural integrity, and aesthetic design. Oh, that's new. Thank you for the lurk, Slim. Multi-purpose room we are very familiar with. Glass dome is similar to the observatory. Water filtration, bulkhead, nuclear reactor, power cell charger, jukebox speaker, plant pot, bed, 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 vending machine, counter, shelf, chair, aromatherapy, shelves. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. Logs and communications. Investigation report, Omega Lab. Investigation notes. Omega Lab was first breached by heavy impact, perhaps from a sea track modified with some sort of battering implement. A localized explosive charge was then released and detonated from a wow. distance. Lab equipment was damaged to the point of inoperability, and all life specimens Yeah, that sounds were intentional. Destroyed. No personnel was injured. Samples have been collected for analysis to determine whether any bacteria escaped. It is, however, unlikely. The heat of the charge should have boiled everything within a 10-meter radius. Okay, so they don't have any samples that made it. It was all boiled. I'm excited to see how you build your base. I'm looking forward to base building in this game because I think they added a bunch of new stuff, which is really cool. We've studied the first Kara bacteria samples from the specimen. Results are promising. We were able to stimulate rapid multiplication of cells in a controlled environment, resulting in the creation of several different mutations with potentially useful applications. Hmm. Think of the possibilities life-saving treatments, genetic research. It could be a window to understand the evolution of life on this planet. The findings could move us forward by years. We recommend a wider study, using samples collected from a greater variety of sites around the original pustules. We trust you will provide the necessary security to do so. The Leviathan site must be protected. Leviathan site. We heard about that, but we haven't seen it in any of... No, we, we saw it in Sam's notes. Okay, and they're studying Kara. Interesting. This is Vin's art. Uh, uh, Danny's not here, I'm afraid. Uh, that's okay. It's you I wanted to see. What's that you're working on? 
Just a sketch for a piece I want to make. I'm slacking off. Don't tell the boss lady. <laughs> I won't. It's beautiful. What is it? I'm doing a series inspired by bacteria. Mutant beauty. Risk. You know, that kind of thing. What's this one? It looks like Harab, but... Vin, is this a mutation? It's just an art project. You know you're doing that thing with your neck, like when you're trying to bluff an alien intruder? <sighs> right, fine. Fine. I'm bad at lying. Are you mutating Kara bacterium Welcome from the frozen Leviathan? Earth. Here? In this lab? Please, don't ask me any more questions. I don't think I need to. Chuck, hello. Welcome in. Thank you for the host. I appreciate it. Hi. Uh, Sam is mutating bacteria in this lab. Sketchy. Now I'm great and melted from being puppy cat adorableness. Yay, Art. How goes the near endless void that is Subnautica? And I hope everyone's doing well. I'm, I'm glad you're doing great. You can't escape me. <laughs> um, Subnautica's great. We, we just found Omega Lab, which has a ton of recordings to listen to and lore and backstory. I'm really excited about that. Miss you terribly. Wish you were here. This is a postcard we found. Hey, Tiger. I miss you a lot, and I can't wait for both of our assignments to be over with. Delta... Delta... Deltar 6. Wow. Has been an amazing opportunity. I never tire of watching the sunrise and sunset over the black sands of the Chirizane Desert. It's beautiful. The only way that it could be better is if you were here. Loving you across the stars. Irian, Irene? I don't know how to say that name, but it's a nice postcard. Okay, maybe I was reaching that Sam and Danny were in a relationship. Because this was the post... We found this postcard in Danny's room? Or maybe that was Sam's room? Unclear. Personnel. Okay, let's read about these people. Alexis Rydell... Independent investigator, Transgov Affairs, reports to Altera. Danielle Valenti, senior scientist, biochemistry, reports to Emmanuel Desardines. Current project, bacterial analysis, personality, E3A302C5N1. Is that like the, what, INFP, but much longer? Memos and miscellany. Focus. The task. Revolution. The key to total uninterrupted focus on what's important is the ability to unfocus on the unimportant. The ultimate goal of concentration is not to block out surrounding environments, but to maintain total focus in spite of them. They will be there. You must not be only better than them, but decoupled from them. You've heard of multitasking, now get ready for monotasking. Studies have shown that humans, even the most capable among us, cannot focus on two activities at once, to the extent required to complete them optimally and thoroughly. Multitasking is an illusion to make you think you're getting more done, when in reality, you're most likely neglecting one task or another. Monotasking rejects the notion that humans could even bother trying to multitask, as not only does it hinder productivity, but increases stress and even guilt when it doesn't yield higher productivity. You, oh expert task revolutionary, have no time for systems that do not work. Let's explore monotasking even more in the next chapter. <laughs> what? Stereotasking. I don't know who Sam or Danny is, but I ship immediately. <laughs> Sanny? Dam? Where did we see that picture? Oh, I don't know. We picked it up, but I wasn't able to keep it. And we have a couple more entries under flora. Antenna plant species is noteworthy for colorful leaves, which attract attention of nearby herbivores. Hungry fish who devour the antenna fruit will spread the plant seeds. Blooming raindrops are aquatic flowers, bioluminescent. They are just pretty, pretty flowers. Green turnian benefit from the lily pad life cycle. Lily pad root. Dense, tangled root structures occasionally pull chunks of terrain from the seabed. Uh, 
And bulkhead door, control room. I'll read about this later if we build one. Planters and pots, that's not new. Water filtration is not new. Nuclear reactor is not new. I mean, they're from the base game. So I'm not going to read all that. Phew. Here, let me collapse all of these categories. There's so many. Now we're organized. Oh, we picked up these pictures. Sam and Danielle, yeah. Framed art, framed art. Let's save again. Um, I'm not going to pick up the ribbon plant here. I really wish I had a beacon. Or that this base had a working fabricator. I want to go down this tunnel. Oh, oh, ow. Anything in these crates? Look at those little fishies. There are no unread lore notes in Ba Sing Se, sir. What is that? Is that the game you're working on? Did we talk about this? We must have talked about this and I forgot. Whoa, this area is cool. Can I scan you? Newt! It's a newt! I'm finding out you have never seen Avatar series? Oh no! <laughs> the secret's out! I've been... I've been discovered. We tried to watch it in the Discord once, and then it was right when we were not doing Saturday morning cartoons anymore. We watched a couple. Rip Jen, I'm sorry. Hype up, welcome in. I know that I would, I think that I would like it, and I know the secret tunnel song, and I know who Appa is. I'm not alone. Llama, weren't you there when we watched a couple of the episodes? Or maybe not. Whoa, what's that? You were? Mm-hmm. So you got about as much as I did, and then we switched to another series. Do it for Appa, yeah. And we watched um, the original Pokemon TV show in the discord a while back for a little bit too. That I did watch as a kid, but I still don't remember in detail. Okay, focus. Uh, I wanna scan one of these first. Oh, except then maybe we'll get eaten by a shark. Oh, there's, I didn't realize how many sharks were nearby. All bark, no bite. They're really cool looking. Okay, it's gonna be fine. It would be cool to have this multiplayer. Yeah, it would be cool. I feel like that would help with the fear for some people. I love both Ong and Korra series, but I haven't really had time to rewatch. Fair. Rising lily pad. Yeah, I I feel like I've heard Korra gets mixed reviews, but the original is is universally loved. What is this? Oh, is this leading to the body cache? No, this is a different artifact. Screaming at me. Can I scan this, or is this just a light? I think it's just a light. It's just lighting up the path. It's 
that'd be cool to build on. The lily pads, the floating things, would be a really unique concept. There was something else I wanted to look at back here before we continue on. Actually, I want to go down there, too. Is that titanium? Just squished between the rocks there? Oh, ow. Weird. This is above the base. Huh. Should I scan this? What's happening here? Like having a moon pool underneath with the rest on top? Yeah. Korra does dip now and then. I believe Nick originally only gave them one season, so the first season feels complete. And when they were allowed to make more, it kind of felt like they had to change things to allow growth. Mm, I, I, I feel that. That makes sense. If your first season isn't, like, fit in with the rest, it kind of had- they had to change it up to make it longer. I have to get- not get distracted by cartoon talk. I will unfortunately take up this entire chat box. Aw, I like it. I think it's way more scary if you're really immersed, pun intended, seeing other players would break immersion a little but make it less scary. Like, we were talking about Raft. You've got a whole team. And you kind of laugh and joke it up a little and, and explore and build stuff together. I'm glad this is giving you base inspiration, Miles. Or vein. Yeah, this is something I can scan. Okay. Alright. Fascinating. Let me squeeze on out of here. Don't worry, I'll repair my sea truck and give it new batteries when it runs out. But until then, we're just gonna use it until the last bit of battery is gone. Also, this thing can really take a beating. Uh, you a whale? Yeah. This is near... Oh my gosh. Hitting every wall. This is near the sea monkey nest that we found, or no? You came within range of data that might help with the construction of a new storage medium. Okay. You must continue to investigate. Okay. I, if you say so, Alan. If the world was a lot bigger, I think multiplayer would be cool. You think it's too small for multiplayer as is? I don't know if I'd ever be able to play this game. I found out from a game called Megaton Rainfall that I have a really uncomfortable fear of infinite blackness or voids. Mm-hmm. Reasonable fear. I, I totally get where you're coming from. This game preys on that. <laughs> OG Subnautica was so buggy, even with one player, I can't fathom multiplayer. It was so buggy. That made the first game less scary for me because of how buggy it was. Do we think we can get down to this and back? This is awful far away. No. I think my range for the sea glide by myself is about 300. Oh no, that's when I'm at 30 seconds left. Okay, hang on, let me save. Let's hope that there's oxygen and oxygen plants. We'll see how far I can get. It's deep for sure, but venturing out wide for solar, I think there needs to be more. Is this going to be too hot down here? I strongly sense my people's technology nearby. My people's technology is nearby. Yo, this is cool. Hey. 
You're a fancy sea monkey. No, maybe not a sea monkey at all. Lily Paddler? Oh, it's a Mesmer! Oh, no! Oh, God. I'm so woozy. Is there anything I can do to, um, not feel like this? Like, maybe a med pack? Oh my god. <laughs> the noises she makes. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> what just happened? Indigenous life forms, fauna, not the newt fish, lily paddler, a medium sized herbivore with elongated whatever. What did you just do to me? When threatened, the paddler emits a pheromonal defense that disrupts higher order brain function in certain species. At night, the paddler's illuminated plumage looks like a school of smaller fish. Dangerous and unfamiliar environments approach with caution. <laughs> that was so trippy. Even the dev team acknowledged a lot of their Subnautica code is a bit of a mess. They're working on improving it. It was a blast to play. Some of the some of the glitchiness was just you got past it. You realized like take everything with a grain of salt. Oh my God, Miles, that was uh that was something, huh? I can actually bring this down. To oh, that's it. Don't go past that. Forever saving. Let's try again. Let's maybe scan a few more things on the way down, and then I won't get close to our friend there. Um, orb. Flowering spore. Okay, cute, love it. Like, what are these? I wanna scan these. Oh, just kidding. I didn't actually want to scan those. Uh, are these deep shrimps? Young cotton anemone. 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 Loop plant. Uh, what are you? Discus? Oh. Jen, your dexterity. Okay. The corals look really cool down here. This is a very different look to it. Mem enemy, M enemy, an enemy. <laughs> okay, let's enter C truck and then I'll switch out the battery. With friends like these, who needs anemones? Thank you, Tunes. Thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> Edamame. <laughs> so, should I maybe save again? <laughs> Just in case. Just in case we get caught up in all that woozy again. I don't think we'll get caught up in the woozy if I don't go directly up to the creature and say, Hey, let me scan you. Are we friends? Hi. And get in its face, you know? That was my fault. There's one. Where is the little, um... Oh, but it's 150 meters away still? I don't know then that we'll be able to... Get to it? Please, I don't- Oh. 
I don't want the woozy. It's just regular quartz. What are you? Grand Cotton m and Hi, Daxon. Welcome in. It's going really well today. We're seeing all kinds of good stuff. Oh, no. Woozy. There better be oxygen down here. Oh, yes! Oxygen! Okay, hang on, chat. We're doing big things. Oh, that's a shark. Okay, I'm lost. This is where the signal is. Oxygen! Ah! Oh god. I don't have my knife out. What in heaven's name was that? Oh my god. It was called a hot spiky trap. I don't like it down here. I think we're gonna die. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I lost track of where the oxygen was because of the hot spiky trap. Wait, now I'm going to the wrong thing. Oh, Rip. We were doing so good. Now I know not oxygen. to go around with my knife not equipped. Oxygen. <gasps> oh my god, I got it. Let's go! Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Did you see it was starting to fade? My consciousness was going out. We made it! <laughs> I'm saving. <laughs> that was ridiculous. It's an Emony in Norwegian too. Good to know. I learned something new today. This is pretty. What's going on in here? Okay, it's a little fountain. No more spiky traps for me today, please. A little garden? Uh... That's upsetting. Architect component. Skeletal this structure. Is very dense. Able to handle heavy forces. A good frame for my new form. Are you okay, Alan? It is not often that I gaze upon the form of a foreign architect. Aww. Is this it's a place no my sort of Aww. sanctuary? It's peaceful. Beautiful, even. As the bacteria spread, the continuation of life became uncertain. This is a place to reflect. I think I understand. Hmm. A place to reflect. Okay, I can't jump up there. Magus, how's it going? The correct way to play with our knife brandished at all times. Yeah, let's uh, go ahead and equip that. I, they changed the way that you assign things to a quick slot. So I failed to do so mid-attack. But we're good now. Somehow we survived that encounter. Alright, what's this? Just a nice gazing spot. Is that what you all look like, or...? Oh, thanks for the clip, I appreciate it. I spent three hours trying to help Dad get a new phone, and we got nothing. That's very good of you to help. That's gotta be a little... a little frustrating. Any... any steps in the right direction, or back to square one? All right, let's read about what we found. Architect skeleton, polyaniline, diamond, plasteel ingot. Okay. I can make that. I haven't... Polyaniline is hydrochloric acid and gold? 
Interesting that this is young cotton anemone instead of deep shrooms. They got rid of deep shrooms. Yeah, that is the recipe. Oh, wait, and then I wanted to read this. Newtfish is harmless. Very cute. Ore vein. Resources behind loose rock. Okay. A dense synthetic skeletal structure made from unknown alien components. It is estimated that the skeletal materials would score a 10 on the Mohs test for material hardness. It is highly resistant to shattering due to its incredibly strong impact strength. I like that. Can frame a screenshot of the statue? I could take a screenshot, yeah. I, I do forget to do that. You all can remind me to take screenshots. Fauna... Discus fish, a colorful small fish with laterally compressed body, survives off algae, nutritious prey for many larger quicker members of the ecosystem. Okay, cute. Flowering spore, harvest for use in advanced material. Oh, I need these. Okay. Spores of the grand cotton anemone. Buoyant. Huh. Used in advanced construction, ornamental plant. Molecular scans point to incredibly slow cell metabolism, which is backed up by carbon dating. The plant cells appear to be engaged in a process known as transdifferentiation. This process alters the state of cells and transforms them to a new cell type over time. Through this process, the plant continuously replaces any poor biological material, allowing it to potentially live for incredibly long periods of time. The carefully regulated structure of this plant cellular biology and the intentional nature of its display amongst other alien artifacts suggests that the architects designed and cultivated this plant for some kind of aesthetic or cultural purpose that we can only speculate about. For reflection, yeah. The lily paddler took all the shrooms, true. <laughs> Grand cotton anemone. Collect eggs for use in advanced fabrication. Oh, I didn't get close enough. One of the largest multicellular organisms in this sector of 4546b, the grand cotton anemone, is hard to miss. This species propagates by emitting a steady flow of spermatozoa, reminiscent of flower pollen, that are forced out of its opening as a result of gas exchange. Periodically, a large egg is expelled. Fun. Loop plant. Two thick red stalks that intertwine around a centralized bulb. Okay, thanks. Is that it? One more. Rising lily pad. The lily pad starts to rise as a result of underwater gas exchange. As the lily pad engages in photosynthesis, it takes in carbon and emits oxygen. Unlike other plants that emit oxygen directly into the water, the lily pad stores the oxygen in a sealed fan. Eventually, enough oxygen is stored that the lily pad becomes buoyant. The root system pulls a chunk of the seabed up on its way to the surface. Can we get oxygen from those when we're swimming around? That would be cool. Thank you, Llama, for the charity stream reminder. I appreciate it. That's next Friday. We're raising money for Trans Empowerment Project. I'm going to be in Star Trek cosplay, doing a tier list or two. And if we reach our goal, one of our one of our goals is for me to play Subnautica crowd control. Which could be spicy. <laughs> we'll see. I don't want to stand right on these bones. Should that feels be. quite disrespectful. It turns out, are weird. are weird. Hi, Tay. Welcome in. We are sitting and reflecting. I almost died getting here, but somehow we made it. Can I scan? These plants coming from the ceiling are cool, too. Alright, are we ready for this treacherous path back? Let's save again because I read all those things in the log and I don't want to lose track of, of the knowledge. 
but we've got a long ways to go. We parked all the way at the top of this area with all the spores. And we have to get past a lot of the the woozy creatures and a shark. I don't need this oxygen yet, but we'll go back to full. Oh, benzene. Okay, nice. Oh, is that one of the spiky grabby things? We got sp spiky grabbied. No, no, no. Hit. I don't like you. That's why we almost died getting here. Oh, I don't want to scan you. I just want to keep going. Most unpleasant. There's a shark. We need to find oxygen plants, though. What's in here? <laughs> Diamonds. We need to find oxygen, grabs shiny rock. This area is a trip. It's so beautiful. It's so dangerous. Too many surprises. I do not like spiky grabbies. Okay, let's go up here. Oh, I do not like woozies, drug trippy fishies. Pheromone fishies. <laughs> that we're affected by. Okay, I can't go further up this way. Can I get past this this pheromone fishy? Oh, I'm getting turned around. Where's my um Okay, I'm gonna I need to look for my sea truck signal. This is it. It's gonna be up here. Yep. Nice. Ooh, that was dicey, though. Did we touch a fuzzy, huh? Forgot about the spiky grabbies. They're scary. It's been great. I'm glad your weekend was good. Did some cooking. Ate a lot of chocolate. Mm-hmm. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. We made it! So now... I want to save... And our inventory is almost full. We can fill it up with some more rubies and diamonds and whatever else we find down here and then head back and do some base building. How's that sound? Because we have a, a storage problem. And... We need to make the alien skeleton, which I think is reasonable. I don't think it's out of reach for us to make that. Oh, there's a spiky grabby right there. I'm supposed to be looking for rubies, but there's danger afoot. You played the original with how good you are at saving. <laughs> I saved so much um it's excessive but you know what i'm not mad i like to save and i don't like to lose progress and i like to save scum so that is the type of playthrough that you're in for Those are really cool looking. All right, let's grab this and go. Inventory full, perfect. Oh, what are those? All right, we don't need those green things. We know that we can find them down here if we come back. I went up the wrong side of the thing to get to you. We're gonna get the 30 second warning, but we're gonna make it. Warning, 
30 seconds of oxygen remaining. It's gonna be close though. Okay. Survival. Let's go home. We can make a base down here. Go back to that ore vein. Get all that titanium. Make a multi-purpose room. What does it take to make a bioreactor? More titanium, silver, which I don't have here, but I have some at home. And lubricant we have at home. Uh, maybe we'll just make it back at home. This would be a cool place to put a base, though. Yeah, put one on one of these, uh, on one of these floaty things. I preferred OG PDA voice. I like both, yeah. I do miss the original for nostalgia's sake, for familiarity's sake. But I like the new one, too. Uh, this is the lily pads. Hi. Little lily pad party. Mature lily pad. She's saucy in this one, yeah. Can I, um... Can I get out on top of this? Maybe not. Climb. Climb the lily pad. Okay, I don't think so. Let's just surface for a second and look around. Look at the lightning. We're not getting- it's not saying that we're too cold, but... Can you get struck by lightning in this game? Do we stick around to find out? Maybe not? Perhaps no? What are these? These blue things? Is that anything? Nope. Okay. The surface looks way scarier than a deep dive. It looks a lot scarier than some of the other scenes we've seen on the surp for surface. I think that one's kind of intimidating. The journey home. What kind of leviathans will we see on the way? Or do we go to our delta station home? I hit something. There's a boomerang. Spinny fish. Whales. Hi! Crypto monster. We're gonna need salt to make hydrochloric acid. We're gonna need gold to make polyaniline, if we do that. There's a lot of lithium over here, but I can't pick up anything. Inventory very full. I'm wondering if it was worth it, all the trouble I made for that outpost last time. Maybe we make a surface base. Since that's where I put my outpost, we can explore with making surface base in this game. I don't know.
Right now, I think I'm just going to the first base because that's the nearest easiest fabricator to use. Hi, sea monkey. I'm gonna need sea kelp for mesh to make more med kits because we used all the ones I had. We took some serious damage today. Home sweet home. Oh, rip. Somehow we're still not completely out of power on the sea truck. Amazing. Alright, what's in here? Nothing that I need. What's in here? Stuff that I definitely need. I should have pinned the stuff I wanted to make. Uh, what do I want to make? Oh, the skeleton. That's really all I want to make. Ugh. I should carry one of these around. I forget how many storage spaces they take up. We can hang up our posters soon. Three diamonds, polyaniline, plasteel ingot. Oh, and I have a plasteel ingot in storage at the other base, I think. You can pin stuff in the original game? No, you can only pin stuff in below zero. I think, unless you use a mod. I took so many screenshots of this fountain. Which one is our favorite? I kind of like this one. There's our whale friends, Aurora. Okay. Let's put some of this in storage. Can I put this picture on the wall in here? Aha. Uh -huh. I can put it on a table if I had a table or a shelf. Okay. Let's gather some salt. I wish I had had room. We saw a bunch on our way home, but my pockets were full of cotton uh, anemone. Here's some. That looks like it should be something. Are you all excited for base building? I just want to have something that feels a little more homey. It's been so bare bones. For so long. 
There's some more salt. And we have those speakers. I wanna, I wanna, I need to find the jukebox so we can play music. Do you get to collect records in this game like in Animal Crossing? Yeah, I wish pinning had been in the base game. It was, it's so nice. I don't think there's salt in here. Uh, we're just poking around. Lots of quartz, though. Oh. Have we been down here before? Whoa, whoa, wow, wow. Oh no. A little bit scary, a little bit scary. Oh, and a grabby. No, don't grab me. Oh, and there's gel packs. Gel packs that I didn't pick up because I thought I was being pursued. Okay. So I guess we're doing this now. Oh, I didn't scan it. Here, we can scan this one. Research. Well, what's all the way down here? Um, hydrothermal vent. Okay, nice. Broken mandrake. Getting some cool choral music. Oh, is this the other artifact that we never were able to find? If I go this way? Oh, <gasps> yes. The artifact you found contains traces of information. Okay, well, nice. What has become of my people. Wasn't anticipating finding that. No ion cubes here. This is a tiny little corridor. Nice. Um, I do actually want to go back out here. But I don't want to get eaten. But maybe if I go, yeah, up and up, there'll be another oxygen plant, and there is. And maybe there'll be another one. Oh, battery. And there is. Well, we were, we were looking for salt, and I ended up down there. It's a little safer here to stop and look around for more. Plenty of oxygen for the time being. So wait, was Q59 the one I found? Or was it still further away? You can answer that if you're able to. That's not salt. Oh, remind me, if I forget, 
Remind me to make beacons. That's the one thing I haven't been good at staying on top of in this playthrough. How'd we end up all the way over here? Go to our other little outposts and charge some batteries. I guess we have enough salt for now. Beacons! Yeah, I'll try to remember to to make some. Welcome we came the all the way over here without the sea truck. Whew. Let's pin the power cell charger so I don't forget that. Lithium titanium advanced wiring kit. Not bad. Okay, sounds good, Tay. Uh, advanced materials, hydrochloric acid. This is gonna make One, we have enough to make another one, but we don't need to. I think all of our gold is at the other location. I don't think- oh no, there's some in here. Okay, nice. So we can make this polyaniline. All of our diamonds are at the other location. Can't beat a bit of polyaniline, yeah. Let's hang up these posters. What's this one? Uh, it's just blank? There we go. It's bacteria. My favorite. It doesn't work the first time, I have to pick it up and try again. A little art corner, much needed. We have some batteries that need charging. Let's take the one out of our scanner. So that we can charge this one. It's almost all the way gone. The habitat builder, I don't care as much about making sure it has a brand new fresh one. I like that you made the tiniest base known to mankind. Thanks. This is an outpost. <laughs> we'll make a bigger base. Don't worry. But this says all of the necessities so far. We don't need much. Can I make a shelf of some kind? For this picture, time I was off, have a great stream. Thank you, Indy, take care, have a good rest of your day. Stay cool, we'll see you around.
Oh, this is larger than I thought it would be for my micro base. Does it fit under this other photo? No. We can put it right here. <laughs> I can still get to everything. I can still open the locker. Microbe. Oh, I like it. <laughs> I'll get me coat. <laughs> no, it's fine. I, I like where your head's at. I wanted to put this at an angle. Aww. It's a little cramped in here. But there's space for our trinkets. It's important. Now we need an advanced wiring kit. I can unpin these other blueprints. It's a shrine, yeah. Computer chip. Okay, our silver, our gold, our table coral. I think all of that is back. Oh, this we have. Let's grab these. Oh, and we do have silver here. Okay, all right. Insufficient power. Oh, no. It's not sunny enough. I should probably make some more solar panels. We've got glass over here. We should be able to make them. Well... I don't know, let's see. Best a thousand bucks a month London studio apartment ever. <laughs> I said we were gonna base build. I guess this is it. Copper? I don't think I have any. Copper? Nope, that's gold. Dang it. We have to wait till morning. Moonlight doesn't doesn't power solar panels. Imagine. Who would have thought? Well. Hey, welcome in. How's it going? I love this game too. It's really good. Oh, we have daylight. Just enough to power the batteries, not enough to also use the fabricator. How funny. What a silly problem to have. Well, since I don't have copper, I can't make a solar panel anyway. Let's go back. And eventually this will be a better base. Whee! Yeah, yeah, I see you. I'm gonna grab this really quick. I'm doing good, how are you? Happy Sunday, happy weekend, welcome in. Hell dog. <laughs> We're on day three of this game, but I feel like day two was solely spent driving my sea truck back and forth and back and forth. So we're making a little more progress today. We found some more artifacts. I'm going to make the skeletal alien structure. Actually, once I get back to this other base, I think we have two more diamonds. We can go ahead and construct that. I still didn't make the beacons either. I said I was going to... And I forgot. Let's go. Where am I from? I'm in the Midwest, in the US. 
Um, I've lived a bit of everywhere, but from Indiana originally. Do I? Are they in this storage? No, I really should put that other creature egg in there. Where's all that copper when you need it? I know. There's the singular copper. Actually, if I need to make beacons, I gotta get more copper. I need... Th why copper shortage always? And I don't know what these are for, but they made it seem like I was gonna need them later, so I picked up a bunch. <laughs> okay, let's make a skeleton. <laughs> I love video games 24-7, yeah. I, I have to split which ones I stream and which ones I play on my own personal time. I wish there were more hours in the day. I'd be playing a lot more games. What ones are you working on right now? Where is this? Advanced materials? Personal equipment? Deployables? I can't make it in a fabricator. Waiting for God of War Ragnarok? Nice. Do we have a thing here that talks about... Uh... The skeleton. We know what a gel sack is. That was in the other game. It would be alien data, maybe? Yeah. A dense synthetic skeletal structure made from unknown alien components. It is estimated that the skeletal material was... Oh, yeah, we, we just read this, but I don't know where... Do we have to bring this back? to the place where we found Alan. This is the, the robot is the little crabs that walk around. Hmm. No, not safe word yet. Let me see if it's in this menu. Okay, no alien parts here. So I'm guessing we have to build something in order to build alien parts. Or we have to go back to that original place. Does this say anything? Store data. The lab was sabotage. Humans are primitive. Component necessary to assemble my body. Another site found. Artifact. Artifact. How do your people communicate? It doesn't really say explicitly. The concept of the South is bizarre. Doesn't include Southwest. Yeah, not generally. Great Lakes is much more sensible to an outsider. Yeah. I didn't realize how great the Great Lakes were before my visit to Chicago. Mm-hmm. They're pretty cool. They're pretty cool. Will this help us build you a body? Permission to share? Okay, this is when we first met. So, I just have a yes or no question. If I go back to where I found Alan, this is a yes or no only safe word question. Can I use that room to build any of the alien stuff? My guess is no. <laughs> You're a very ready double. <laughs> Uh, I didn't realize- oh yeah, I read that. Hi, Adam. Welcome in. Yes or no, only safe word. Thank you, Magus. <laughs> no? Okay. Then, 
My other yes or no only question is... Safe word. Can I... Do I have the ability to build this now? My guess is no. Okay. Cool. That's all I want to know for now. Because we're not at a standstill, so I can save all these supplies for later. In fact, I can make another floating storage and just label it skeleton. <laughs> That's not suspicious at all. You all don't have a skeleton locker? In your front yard? In your basement? Underneath your house? Don't have a front yard. Fair. Everyone has a skeleton or two in their closet. Usually. So then this is three diamonds, one polyaniline, and one plasteel ingot. Alright, saving it for a rainy day. Oh, oh, the UI did not like that. Alan's body, yeah, I could. Nor basement, nor house, fair enough. Closet? Do you have a closet? What's next on our agenda? Let me open and close the PDA several times just for good measure. <laughs> Copper. Copper is next on the agenda. If a wardrobe is a closet, sure, we'll count it. Skeletons in your wardrobe. Let's save two, and uh, maybe let's get some oxygen. I don't know. Wishful thinking to uh, want to breathe. I don't surface very often. Yes. 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 It's pretty up here. Yes. Thank you for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. Thanks, Helldog. I wish I remembered where we first landed when we started. That little... I don't know what to call that rock that's jutting out over the water. It's cool looking too. Want to transfer to MIT? That would be cool. Uh, Cambridge. MIT area of Boston is is fun. I've spent a bit of time there. I mean, MIT is also a really reputable school and good for engineering because that's what you said you want to do. But I'm thinking <laughs> just of the location. Wardrobes tend to have lions and witches, though, instead of skeletons. Yeah. The lion, the witch, and the... Skull? I like how European houses generally don't have closets, at least in Germany, more options for room layouts. Harder for moving though, if you gotta take a whole another piece of furniture with you. A dresser or a wardrobe instead of just bags of clothes. But it does give you more creativity for uh, for mapping your stuff out. Okay, finding some copper. This is good. Try to build the best pet personality for me. Mm -hmm. Try to find something that suits you to a T. The lion, the witch, and the closet. Mm, yeah. That sounds just as catchy. I 
I scanned all those things, right? Just waiting for an IRL habitat building tool. That would be amazing. <laughs> Okay, lots of titanium. We don't have any of those glass lockers from the first game yet. But we can make wall lockers and those are good. They hold a lot. This is lead, yeah. Okay, we're, we're getting pretty lucky. Oh, I said that and then it wasn't, uh, it wasn't copper. I await the ascending size glasses Subnautica playthrough. We did, I did get new glasses. Thank you. Yeah, these are blue light blocking and they fit much better than my old ones. Even though I love those glasses, they were giant circle round frames. These ones are slightly more functional. I don't know, and we had been wearing them for over a year, like a year and a half on stream. I was ready for a change. New look. These also, I have a little glasses chain, like a granny glasses so they don't fall off of your face. Or so you can wear them on your neck. It's not that they are going to fall off my face. It's that you can take them off and let them dangle and wear them like a necklace. Inventory full. We'll let those float to the bottom. Let's go back. Granny Jen, yeah. Do you also use blue light blockers in the morning? I think morning light, blue light is good for circadian rhythm. Yeah, I don't use them in the morning. I, I mostly just use them for stream or late night TV, movie, watching, etc. I am picking up a signature of an important item. An important item? I will share its location. Okay. Wow, thanks. Let's make some uploaded to PDA. beacons before I forget. My storage, my inventory is such a mess. Um, <laughs> what am I doing here? How do I make a computer chip. I'm missing copper wire. Good thing I didn't use all of my copper on beacons. Am I gonna have enough left over? Yes. To make the solar panel. Okay. Now we can make a, a power cell recharger. And I have beacons. How much copper do I have? Three. So I can make one more beacon and still have one for, one copper for a solar panel and one to spare. Or maybe I should make two solar panels? I don't know. Neat. I need to make more <laughs> storage lockers. 
But for now, we're gonna... Fill up my pockets. This is silly, my storage system. What can I leave at this base that I know I'm not gonna need urgently? Also, where's that other depth module? But I don't have a modification station yet. So it doesn't matter. Oh, that was that was a rhetorical question, but thank you, Miles. Uh I don't it's pretty it's a pretty benign question. <laughs> it's pretty harmless. Um and and that's helpful. I should have safe worded it anyway, because I'm just trying to to maximize Like, make the best of... I'm trying to leave stuff behind so we can mostly have all of our storage in the new base. And I've got a little more space in the quantum locker that I can use. And I can fill my pockets with all this other stuff. I've got one diamond, three ruby, which split in half what I was carrying in here. I can... Sp probably split this in half to take a couple of these with me in case I need them for something. And then let's take a look at this. Yeah, I have a pair of quantum lockers, which is very helpful. But it's full. <laughs> with the most random stuff. Our power cell situation should be good now because I've got the recharger. So maybe let's ditch the ribbon plants and the rubber. It's so handy for shifting stuff around, it really is. And ribbon plants and rubber aren't that aren't that hard to find. Put yourself in the locker. I wish. I know. I wish we had a teleporting arch. We've got one gold and two silver in there. Let's put a couple copper in there. Do I like everything else that we have in there? Yeah, it's pretty useful. The, the lubricant, I just want to put in storage at the other base so I don't have to worry about coming all the way back here or finding kelp to make more. And then this should just be, yeah, e eggs and flares. Which there is a creature egg in the, in the other base that I want to bring back here. This just feels like overkill. I think we'll just end up having to make two trips. And we're going to build another locker over there, so maybe I should just prioritize more titanium for building for now. And then come get this other stuff once I'm done building. That feels right. Lockers coming out your ears, yeah. Tell you about my 4th of July. I'm trying to be a happy American and working like crazy for that to come true. Yeah, um, my 4th of July was okay. It, it's it's fine. I had a nice dinner with my parents. I'm not a huge fan of fireworks, and they were going off weeks leading up to, and then really, really loud, like, right behind my house the day of, and I did not enjoy that. So, um, it is alright. It's, 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 a, it's... 
a, not a time where I'm feeling a whole lot of American pride. Let's just say that Fourth of July was like, you know, I'll take a vacation day. I'll take a, a, a holiday excuse to hang out with my family for sure. But other than that, eh. The concept of 4th of July celebration is alien to me. It's family tradition. People always grill and always do fireworks and always go to the lake, which family time and traditions are great. The fact that that is associated with 4th of July is kind of weird. Like, you can do that anytime. You can do that for, hey, the beginning of summer or... I'm doing everything to succeed. Yeah. It's a it's a it's a rough time for many. It's pretty backwards. Don't understand fireworks either. My experience our furry friends get really scared. Duncan gets really on edge. I get really uncomfortable. Um it's one thing if I go to a fireworks show and I can see it and I know it's professionally done and it's far away and and you're expecting it and it's like good pacing. But when people do their own in my backyard, their backyard, they fire them off all at once. I can't see it because I'm just chilling inside my house. I don't know when it's gonna end. Okay, I'm damaging this thing. Let's park down here. This is our parking garage. That's kind of a weird thing to say, Eldoc. I'm just streaming. If you want to talk about the game, that's fine, but Twitch is not a place to, like, <laughs> try to try to lay on the compliments and... Uh, it, it usually makes streamers Welcome kind of uncomfortable from what I've seen. Alright, so we need to make a locker. Locker City. It can go here. I was afraid that it wasn't gonna let me. I can fit one there and one there and one there. <laughs> um, And where's the power cell charger gonna go? Maybe it'll go behind the door. We did make beacons, thank you, Tay. I did remember. I appreciate it. We made a couple, and then I saved the rest of the copper for solar panels. I don't think the... Because the other... The power cell charger is more... Long ways. I don't know that it's going to fit here. Oh, you could... Wait. What, what, you could put one sideways? That looked silly. I can shove two of these right next to each other. <laughs> Do we dare? <laughs> One of them is just going to be for titanium, maybe. <laughs> How's my base uh, integrity, structural integrity going? That looks awful. Okay, forget it. Deconstruct, deconstruct. Um, I need lithium. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't fit there. It can fit directly across, though. This looks so silly. It can juts out. There's no room in here. I'm gonna make a multi-purpose room. That's the funny thing. I really don't need to do this right now. Make it a tiny home challenge. <laughs> Have you had any thoughts about weather too? And if so, where to construct a bigger base? I think I'm gonna build onto this one and make sort of a land base here, maybe? I don't, I don't have, I'm not pulled in any one direction to make a base somewhere else yet. 
Yeah. Because the original thought of making this outpost was there wasn't, I couldn't find any gold by the original drop pod. There's more gold here and lithium and a couple other things I can't remember what. But now, that's not the biggest of my concerns. What does this even look like? Eh, could be worse. Alright, let's go make our solar panels. get some different angles going here wait where is where is our where's the sun <laughs> it's so it's always overcast it's always overcast on 4546b i i get the impression they don't really care that much about solar panel accuracy in this game you can kind of do whatever what am i missing Oh no, it did work. Okay. Nice. I'm playing on PC. Looks like a VR headset. My house? <laughs> I like it. I don't have what I need. Oh, I need quartz. Can I get to my other locker? I can. We're gonna take that creature egg back to the other base. Oh, we can charge this power cell now. Look at us go. <laughs> I can't get through here. <laughs> this is silly. I don't have any dead batteries. We just didn't have any spare batteries. Okay, maybe this will be our titanium locker since that's what we need to offload. It is so impractical. <laughs> Reminds me of your flat. It's just a charging station. I don't know. I don't know what else I need yet. All right, you all are very unhappy with this, so why don't we make a multi-purpose room? Yes. It's just yes. Yes. titanium, yes. right? Hey, Zephyr, welcome in. And thank you for the follow, birds. I appreciate it. It's fun. What do, what do I want? What else do I want to add, though? Oh, a bioreactor would be nice instead of the bunches of solar panels. A glass dome would look cool. Some grow beds. More storage. <laughs> a speakers. And a bed. Alright, I at least want to have like a like a bed and some pictures on the wall and stuff like that. Oh, I can just make it above this and block the solar panels. Can I make it? No, because this is backed up into the wall here. I don't think I can connect them unless I make another hallway. And even that I can't because literally every surface is covered with appliances. Well, let's just make another one over here. <laughs> this is a good idea. They're just all separate. None of them are connected and I have little modules everywhere. I wish I had enough to make this um, out of glass right off the bat. It would be a cool outlook. Total now 8.8. .8. Okay. Base hole strength. They live on the snow part of the planet so they can cool it.
Do I have what I need for a hatch? I'm out of titanium. <laughs> Speakers, bed, Leviathan in the background. Rawr. Okay, yeah, this is nice. <laughs> this is homey. And we can park the sea truck right in between them. Uh, this needs solar panels too. I probably didn't need to put three on here, huh? Oh, this isn't even constructed. Okay. Well, shoot. I can't even get to the top of it? Why not? Oh, there we go. <laughs> this is so silly. Best thing about it is most of the sides will also be inaccessible to extend onto as well. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm gonna scrap this whole base. We're just having fun. I can unpin the power cell charger recipe. We can make a speaker, but there's no music player. I don't- what else was I gonna make? Oh, we do need to make some first aid kits. I forgot to pick up seaweed samples. But really, I think the only things we need to do next are go to the two additional beacons we have. And I'm not- I'm not ready to do that yet. Trav, welcome back. It's good. We got a lot of new tech. We made this- Tiny home charging station. And I'm feeling a lot better on the materials we have. We found a really cool underwater area. Well, underwater area. The whole game is a cool underwater area. We found. I don't. What was. You can say for to answer this. The name of the biome that had the creature that was. made us go on like a drug trip, basically. And it had all the spores and the flowers. Does it have a name? They kind of leave you to name the biomes yourself. And <laughs> this is sticking off the side. Look at it. That looks horrible. Deconstruct. Oh, yeah, underneath the lily pad area. Yep, Welcome that's a good description. Captain. We'll put titanium, quartz, lithium, copper. We're just going to put everything in here that I don't need right now. I was going to make two trips to the other base anyway, just to completely empty out that locker, and we'll return this creature egg over there. Uh, and we have a charged battery, but we are already carrying two, so we can leave that. Let's save. This is our parking spot. <laughs> I like that we have those creatures in our front yard. Crypto bros. Crypto... I can't remember. Crypto platypus. Generously sized garage. The perks of this apartment. Ample places to charge your appliances. Decorative art choices a giant four car garage 
nearby to local sites such as Delta Station, Thermal Vents, uh, <laughs> amenities include. I could go on. Yes. We're building yes. this listing. Yes. Yes. Thank you for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. Welcome in. Swim score 95. Let's go. No, I, I don't want to pick up or rename it. I just want to open it. We've got room for either one more large egg or four more small eggs. Let's leave, let's put all this other stuff in here. Beware local wildlife, yeah. A modern style apartment benefiting from multiple charge points, microbe themed decor, and generously sized garage. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. I'm going to take all this stuff over there. We'll take three of each. That's That seems right. We're going to get kelp samples. No pets. <laughs> Multiple leviathans detected. Are you sure whatever you're doing is important? That's from... Isn't that one of the earlier radio messages in the base game? And yes, it is. And not all leviathans are to be feared. Cozy floor plan. That's good. That's a good sell. Oh, I think my habitat builder was just out of battery. I actually had the supplies I need. It's a message from the base game, yeah. That's enough for three med kits. How much more can I hold? Nope, that's it. Do you miss the stalkers? This, yeah. yeah. I do. The stalkers that I was, you know, you're very, I was afraid of in the beginning. I feel like a lot of people are, that's the first thing you encounter that hurts you. That sounds really scary. And then you learn about the metal and them losing their teeth. And then, you know, they're around all the time. Like Human they're kind of cozy. You get used to them. Out. Thanks, Double. Happy Sunday, everybody. Is my... Inventory just full? I only picked up one? Was my inventory full and that's why I only picked up one? Must have been. Okay. Gonna start the first? Have fun, it's so good. Play with the lights on, yeah. Still be watching, okay, cool. We're doing, we're kind of doing some housekeeping, building up our inventory and storage, uh, transferring all the stuff from the life pod to the Delta Station base. And... Wait, does it take three of those to make... I know, my oxygen. It takes two. Okay. When I played the first Subnautica game, I played with music. 
Oh, that's right. I forgot about that, Tay. It's a lot less scary when you can't hear every sound. The sounds are really the, the worst part for me. Are the noises more than the creatures themselves. I loved playing without music because it's really immersive. Mm-hmm. I completely forgot because I remember telling you Subnautica is going to be too scary for me. I don't know if I can do it. And you were like, no, just put some music on. And then it'll take you out of it a little bit and it won't be so jarring being chased by fish. And I ended up not needing it. The Wii Shop theme, yes. <laughs> the perfect song for a calm demeanor. <laughs> Look at us, we've come so far. This is all that we're leaving behind. You know what, let's split the difference on the sulfur since now we have space for it. We shop theme for one hour makes everything pleasant. Do y'all have a comfort song? Like a video game song? Mine is the menu music from Star Fox 64. When you're selecting the different options versus story mode, um, I don't know, options. I love that song. <laughs> It's very peaceful. I'll play I'll I could try to play it. I it used to be on Spotify. I used to have it in a playlist and the last time I opened the playlist it wasn't available. It was you know when a song gets taken off Spotify, you can still have the name in your playlist but you can't actually hit play. I'm assuming Nintendo said, "Nope, taking that off Spotify. You can't have it. Copyright." So far back I barely remember. I love Star Fox 64. We've actually never played it on stream. That's one of the nostalgia revisits that I never did. Below Zero has a really good soundtrack. I, I like this soundtrack a lot. I feel like the volumes are balanced a little bit better and the mood is balanced a little better because I was saying last stream, sometimes in the, sometimes in the first one you would be going along calm open ocean or like shallows coral and all of a sudden you would get one of the scary tracks and you're like what is it what's nearby nothing it's just they that was the next track on the playlist um i'm trying to figure out what to put in here and thankfully not run out of oxygen yet we're just chatting we're having a good time I don't really think that it matters that much. It just, it just honestly complicates things more than anything else. But I can carry them at both bases, so that's good. All right, let's head back. I don't know, we were doing, oh, sorry, a quick scan around. This is not back. This is back. I get confused. It's a new thing that they have the icons of your signals go all the way around the screen like that. And sometimes I start going towards the wrong one. I'd hit a hard place, so I haven't been as present in streams. I feel that. I feel like um, with COVID especially, stream priority, attendance, viewership, whatever, it's all over the place because people are dealing with real world, world stuff and with their families and their health and their jobs and we're in a recession. Like, I totally get it. I've become much more of a lurker than a must be at every minute of this person's stream, like from start to finish. Because when I started watching Twitch, I was like, I have to be there the whole time and talk to everybody and respond to everything. A lot of times now I go in and I say, hey, what's going on? This is what I'm doing. Have a great stream. And then I listen to it. Since the pandemic, I've been back home with my mom. Yeah. Real life always got to come first. Yep. 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 I get that. Taking care of family is so important. Oh, I forgot to use our parking garage. Okay, we're at 9% battery. 
let's go ahead now that we have the power cell recharger just 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 go ahead and refresh those real quick there's no point running it down to zero since we can we can go uh, take care of that oh thank you doodle um, doodle sprout did my panels I I don't know if I have a command for them but I should shout them out if we have a mod that can shout Welcome out aboard, Captain. Doodle. Or there's also a link for their profile and their art webpage in the panels, in the credits section. Perfect. Thank you, Tay. Oxygen running out scares the living out of me. It, it can get stressful. It can get stressful. We even have a spare... Oops. A spare. We are blessed with an extra power cell. This is going to be rocks and minerals. This is going to be organics. Oh, I don't think I meant to take this thing with me. Oh, well. Root pus pustule? I don't know what it's for. We'll find out. Uh, organics and a spare power cell. <laughs> there, we're organized. Oh, the UI for this is strange when I'm switching back and forth between controller and keyboard. Maybe we'll end up using something from this so that I can put the batteries in here instead. Okay. Oh, we could just make, we could just build up. Can you do a hallway stacked on top of a hallway? No, cause I don't have anywhere to put the stairs. I don't think it's gonna, there's no room to put them in the middle like this. It's not gonna work. Play controller two. I think it's easier for me. I got so many questions and comments about using controller for base game. And I love it, other than certain, like, specific scenarios. Um, yeah, it would. it's more precise to use mouse and keyboard, but it, it pays off that I can lean back a little bit. And I just, I've always been leaned more into to controllers. Only ever tried keyboard mouse? Yeah. We didn't know we could sprint. Yep, I didn't know I could sprint or jump for a long time. <laughs> Let's save again. Should we make... Okay, here. This is what I can take out of here. We can make a speaker that plays no tunes. Generates sound waves. You can just put it on the ceiling. Weird. We can make two. Oh, if I have, if I take out more supplies. All right, we've been very chatty <laughs> going through this, the base options here. My closet, my tiny home. I am probably going to deconstruct this because I don't need it yet. It looks cool. Wow. Amazing. But I, I don't like, I don't, I don't love it. 
Maybe when we get a moon pool, I'm assuming we still get a moon pool eventually, then we can build off of it and it'll make more sense. But right now, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And then what was in here? No, I don't know. We'll worry about that later. We still haven't been up to the top of this area either, which has me kind of puzzled. I don't know. I think that's all I want to do today, to be honest. I was going to do more base building, but I'm not sure what I want to do with it yet. We've got this temporary tiny base. It's got everything we need. Um, I've got an early morning tomorrow, so we will we will wrap up here. I keep, I'm keep i saving over and over. Today, we made this look much better and more functional. We transferred all of our other items from our first base to this one. We found two artifacts with Alan. We found the body cache, which was cool. We went to the area with all of the spores underneath the lily pads. We found the lily pads. We found the whales. It was a good stream. Thank you for watching my Subnautica Below Zero playthrough. I stream Subnautica on my Twitch channel every Sunday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you to my July Kofi supporters, Oracle the Great, Semi-Cortex, Toon Wolf, and 8-Bit Trav. I'll see you in the next video. Later, humans.